I'm playing Factorio. Today I want to go over circuits. Uh, I've listened to some other streamers and they've said they really can't explain circuits that well. So I'm going to attempt a series on covering circuits. I don't necessarily know everything, but I do know a fair amount. I have a background in computer engineering and so logistics and circuits as they operate in Factorio comes pretty easy for me. So one of the first things that everybody will encounter is how do you control how much of an item is produced and you don't want to go over a certain amount. Say you want to keep um, you know 200 you know green circuits in a chest available on the logistic network so you can you know say fill up yourself with you know a stack of circuits you can always keep you know 200 on you and if you have robots they will bring them to you but if you don't have them available to you know if they're not produced well then they won't bring them to you um, but you don't want to fill up the whole chest. The whole chest would be, you know, 4,800 or actually probably 9,600 because green circuits stack to 200. Um, that's quite a bit to keep on hand, especially, you know, circuits are kind of expensive. And other resources, of course, uh, you know, like say nuclear factories or nuclear plants, you know, you don't want to produce maybe enough to fill the entire chest you want you know to only produce maybe two or four or ten or depending on the size of the nuclear plant that you decide you know blueprint and reproduce now one of the first things you'll be able you'll say was well why don't you just you know you can click this x and you can drag it and set it to a limit and that works great uh for that particular chest but if we you know we do this and we duplicate this you know several times I'm using a cheat mod that allows me to just place it down so just sort of ignore that um, and we should look, pasting the blueprint down and copy the actual details of that cheat chest in but I fix that um, and we'll put down another pole so those are working uh but say we you know okay so we wanted to keep a whole row of green circuits but once this one fills up well now that one's got that room and that one's got that room so we want to control say we don't want more than you know in this case it would be 2,000 green circuits to be produced by any of these so how would we do that you know the next thing to do is actually wire things together and control that. So the very basics of that is, you know, I've got some wire on my things. Is we wire up the chest. And now they, they talk to each other. They're saying anything that connects to this circuit of red wire will know the contents of all three of these chests. If you hover your mouse over it, you can see that the red wire glows and we see that, you know, these chests are talking to each other. Now, they don't, they're not saying anything uh, because there's nothing in them. Uh, I have a stack of engines. If I hover my mouse over any of these, we see, we're also seeing um, uh, something in another chest I want to explain here in a little bit but we see if I hover my mouse over any of them even though all the engines electric engines are over here I hover my mouse over this furthest chest it's uh, actually maybe it's not uh, but if we did wire that to a pole one of the easiest ways to see what a circuit is saying is to wire in a power pole and it's showing the 43 engines available. I'm sorry, when I was talking about this, is saying logistics storage. So all these items are, because these are passive provider chests, uh, if I switch that over to a steel chest, 
you know, that would go away. And now the electric engines aren't in the logistics circuit. And I can do that for this over here. Explain that in a minute. All right, so this doesn't change if I move these engines over here. Uh, you know, it's still showing 43 on the pole. So what we can do is we can say, you know, in our case, we're talking about green circuits. We can tell this inserter, if we connect it to that red wire circuit, only fill if the green circuits is less than 2000. And if we do that for each of the inserters, uh, I mean, it makes it, makes it prettier if you do it to your chest, but it would have been the same. Now, uh, okay, so this one, screen circuit 2000, these haven't been set up. Their conditions are blank, so these, if you see the little red indicator, we get some power over here. I don't want to put power on it uh, because then these will start operating. But you can see when that flashy icon's not there, you can see these lights are red. But I'm going to shift right click this inserter and I'm going to paste to each of these, left shift left click, and then we get the circuit enabled condition. So these are green. If we got, if this, if these factories had green circuits in them, the inserters would take from them and put them in the chest. So now we don't need, take those out, we don't need this X condition because the circuit's going to control how many is going in. So these three can now produce and we will get up to 2000 total. Now what if we had another green circuit build elsewhere and this is why I have this chest over here uh, well let's let's actually just see that in operation um, let's make this instead of 2200 it'll get it'll get done a little faster so we'll just delete one of those zeros copy and paste that to each of these guys so each of them are showing circuits of less than 200 we'll add some power um, yeah, we'll just do two power poles. So these will work. I chose green circuits because it's only a half second to make each one of them. So products produced, 18, 19, 20. We have our mouse over this, it's ticking up, 70, 80. Maybe I should have just gone with 100, but it won't take too long to get to 200. Now, should stop at 200 or just beyond. Since they're producing at exactly the same rate, it might be just beyond. Yes, so it stopped at 201. If these had been slightly out of sync, it would have probably stopped exactly at 200. But now, without having any red lines or anything, we have exactly the 200 we want okay but what if we said okay well we have those screen circuits but we also have you know a storage chest you know we've had some green circuits in our trash slots oops you know and the the bots came and grabbed them the cheat mode I'm using just removed them so sorry I can't demonstrate that but if we make this you know a uh, storage chest and we put the provider chest back on this um, I'm not quite sure why that activated just maybe because of changing the chest but uh, okay so we have 200 in these chests but we have 400 total in the logistics storage system so you know, well, what if we wanted to limit only to 200? Uh, 
for our situation, we've got close to, we've got over 400. So let's just set it to 500. So instead of, let's remove the power. Because as soon as I drop the wires off of these, they would start producing. We, you know, instead of setting wires, we can actually via the inserter itself, if it's in a RoboPort network, then it has the ability to connect to that network, greater logistic network of, you know, if this was a big factory and we had lots of RoboPorts connecting to one another, then they all share one network. And you can see that if you press L, you can see all the networks that are in, that are active. In this case, we just have the one. If we look at, you know, the player. Okay, so I, you know, we have some things. Uh, but let's just look at the network of this RoboPort. We have 404 circuits in it. The 204 we made plus the 200 in the chest. Now, if we want to set that to say 500, we want to make, if circuits is less than 500, we can do that directly. There's no wire, because this is say uh, wireless to the robo port. And we can say if circuits are less than 500, it will include all these in this chest, uh, wires notwithstanding. I can remove those. And it will still work regardless of the wired connections. So we restore power. Um, I guess I have to copy that into these other inserters because that's what we want. We don't want these to keep working after we get to 500. But if we look at the network storage, we're almost up to 500 now. And that will stop when we get to 500. Now one of the things you can do is, okay, this is the output. You can actually control that from the input as well if you want. You can say, you know, you can just shift on, left click onto these and then the factories themselves will stop producing because they will stop getting resources when you hit 500. But these might, you know, say you remove the circuit condition this will keep outflowing, but now no more materials will be put in to be produced until the total amount drops away. So if I pull out, then these will turn on. And we'll get it back up to 500. But the, in this case, this will stop giving resources and it has a little buffer inside the assembly machine. So some will continue to be made even after this turns off. So that's gonna wrap it up for basic chest storage uh, circuits for this episode. Thank you for watching. Again, my name's Dune and you have a great day. Take care.